Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today, I want to talk about the clone stamp tool and the alternative I found that I've been using a lot more recently. And um, the clone stamp tool has been a staple in my retouching life. <laughs> For the longest time, I've always used that tool. And that's because I use frequent separation now. Um, I'm just going to show you guys why um, the clone stamp tool is great but not too great at the same time so with the clone stamp tool all you have to do is hit s on your keyboard and you pick this tool right here right and the good thing about the clone stamp tool is that you can sample and then just clean sample and just clean so you sample somewhere close to the area that you work on or um, that you want to work on and just clean right so it just makes the clone stamp tool very easy to use right when it comes to removing blemishes and also when you use frequent separation and you have your um your image separated into two different frequencies that way you know you have your color in one particular layer and then you have your textures in another layer it's easy to work around but when you don't use frequency separation or when you don't want to work on an image that way and you want to remove a lot of the blemishes um, i would say and make it look a lot natural than you know um when you use frequency separation you know sometimes the problem with the clone stamp tool is when you sample some certain areas like this, it kind of like moves the highlights, you know. And I know there are some things that you can do, like come in here and change the blend mode of the brush and everything. But it just seems like it's so much work when it comes to using the clone stamp tool. As you guys can see, it's left like a highlighted patch, you know, in that area. So the tool that I use now is the patch tool the patch tool is my favorite tool right now when it comes to retouching now sometimes it does leave you know um a few of those you know patches and everything that are a little brighter or darker but not as bad bad as the clone stamp tool and i just feel like it's a lot easier to use and the reason why i really like the patch tool is it's easy to select multiple areas at the same time by just holding shift on your keyboard so if i hold shift i can select multiple blemishes at the same time like this you know just select a few like this and then just move that now yes you can see right here it created like a little patch and you can just take that out so it almost seems like it's using ai but obviously it's always been in photoshop and some people absolutely love this tool and they've preached about this tool for the longest time but for some reason i just never used it and i started using it recently and the reason why i started using it recently is because i have a new pro retouching pack if you haven't checked it out check it out it will help you retouch a lot you know better and it will help you retouch faster to be very honest you know um it blends skin like no other pack that i've ever seen so check it out and um i have an image here that i've removed a lot of the blemishes so the reason like i said why i'm using this tool right now the patch tool over the clone stamp tool is like it just helps me remove all the blemishes easily like this you know um look at where we're coming from look at where we're at and if i need to go into frequency operation or if i need to go into you know running my action so i'm just going to do that right now so you guys can see um yes you know <laughs> I'm showing off, but it's cool. So I'm just going to wait for this to um, finish loading up. Okay, so now that the action is done loading, I still have the high texture, just like frequency separation, because it's based on the basics of frequency separation, right? And then I have my color layers right here. So the good thing about this is that I've removed most of the blemishes already. So if I just pick a brush, I'm just going to pick a soft white brush, make sure that my um hardness is on zero you know my flow is 24 anything below 30 works perfectly and then come down to paint here it's not the mixer brush tool just paint here and then you know just paint over my subject skin now i'm not being careful i'm literally just painting over my subject skin you know and as you guys can see it looks great already you know by just using those two tools you know like the um patch tool and then you know just coming in here and running my action this is this is it. it just looks good now if i'm trying to bring some of those shadows back i'll probably just pull my blending down you know and just bring some of the shadows back and this is good you know like we have an image that looks really really good already now from this point i'm just going to jump into doing a little bit of micro dodge and burn you know um 
a little bit of um, global dodge and burn. And the image is ready. I'm just going to come in here and paint all that stuff up a bit. You know, a little bit of micro dodge and burn, a little bit of global dodge and burn. The image is ready. It's good already. Let's um, turn on our invert check layer to see what we've done. Open our invert check layer and just drag our levels. Right? And from here, it's just dodge and burn. By the way, in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how... You know you can combine um micro dodge burn with frequency separation just to get like the best or you know even if just my action just to get like the best look so right now at this point you know if we turn off this you can see you know it did a pretty decent job you know and then if we turn off all this stuff you can see what using the patch tool does you know it takes out a lot of these blemishes but this we're good and we just need and we just need a little bit of uh, micro dodge and burn so yeah Anyways, check out the patch tool. I think it's an amazing tool. It will definitely help you out, you know, with, with your retouching and just take it to, like, a, a more efficient level, you know. So check it out. Like I said, um, always don't forget, hold the shift key, and you can select a few of these and then just patch it up. It's a beautiful tool to use. Anyways, thanks so much for watching today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. And um, if you want to see the video on how I retouch the hair, so I'm just going to scroll down so you guys can see. Look at the hair. This is the before, this is the after, sorry, this is the before, this is the after, before, after. Um, put a link in the description below, so definitely check out that video. Um, I think by next week, we should be done retouching this image. So the next video is going to be global dodge and burn, micro dodge and burn, and what's the major difference. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Peace out.